So here's my flash. Uh, if we're doing the umbrella, we'll go this way with it. Right, so the umbrella always goes backwards. That is our first option. We wanna do that if we're able to. Outdoors, indoors, as long as there's no wind, do the umbrella. If we're outside and conditions are difficult, then go forward with it. Make sure it's nice and tight. That's tight. Again, we need to just tighten that a little bit just to make sure it's snug. Um, okay, from here I can plug these in. Power. Then this one, you want to be really careful with it because the slack is kind of hard. This is a little high, so just make sure it's not ripping or anything like that. Uh, that should be good. And then we're going to install for this one the uh, this guy. This is the beauty dish. All right, so I have my beauty dish. This is the 16 inch beauty dish. If ever it comes apart, these twist off, they fall apart. And then if this comes loose, these things just tighten up. Um, but this one is specifically for the alien bees. We have a 16, I think an 18, and like a 22 or 24, all different sizes. Basically the, the size up from this can work uh, and it's softer, light, it's nicer but it's, it doesn't transport as easily. So we'll use the 16 for now. Uh, if you're, you're too short um, and you didn't bring a stool, you might wanna attach this before you do it from up here, because you might not be able to reach. Um, I can reach just fine, so I'm gonna pinch the top, carefully get the back side. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I just kind of scooped it around the back side first once that's in then hooked it around the front and then then released the release thing which basically just opens up the uh, locking mechanism and then you just want to do a quick sweep around to make sure that those hooks are not on the outside because sometimes they can miss and be right on the outside. And if you look closely in there, you can see that I did it right, it's on the inside. All right, next part is to attach the cover. It's really simple. Go around the top, work your way down. Just don't pull it too hard and then just be one of those. That's just going to soften the light, make it a little bit nicer. Um, let me show you what the front of this looks like. There we go. All right, next, next part is just to make sure you're happy with the angle of it. We want it not shooting straight down, not shooting too high but just kind of at a slight 45. So uh, make sure your light is just kind of down. Um, the bigger version of this, the 18 or the 19 inch, it, um, it kind of is just like right there. You don't even have to adjust it. It's just so big that it just kind of kisses the edge of it. You also have this pole further down, uh, a hole for the pole down there. So if ever, if you're in a situation where you need to utilize that, that's available to you. Uh, the next thing is just kick on your light and that is ready to go. All right, and just before I go ahead and do a test shot, I'll verify my settings here. So let me just put it at half power. Um, because this is the direct lighting it's the beauty dish you might not need as much power but I'll leave it at half just to to verify 
and we'll do a quick test shot, make sure that's on. Computer's on, camera is on. Oh, and before I forget, let's switch the camera back to on, right? So not video mode, video mode is just to view it. Um, I can kick it back to on. Um, and the only reason why I changed my settings initially was so I could see through the viewfinder uh, where I was headed. Another way to do that, I think, is you can throw it in video mode and then if you switch the settings to like one of the auto settings, it doesn't matter which one, that quickly gives you the view of the screen because it's just taking a guess reading. And then when you're ready, uh, that's the only thing you want to make sure you go back to manual mode. If you don't, you may mess things up. So back in manual mode. Now let's do some test shots. All right, the light uh, for that guy is at its lowest. And dark room looks like it already did it, so. Jump in here, three, two, one. The first one's a little dark. The second one, it's showing a little bit better, but I think after your first test, the lighting on the screen will improve. So you can see here, it's decent, uh, but it's a little too bright. A good way to verify is to check your phone. Go over to Dropbox on your phone, verify the settings are working. So what I can do is I'm just gonna adjust this, make sure it's as low as it can be. And then I felt like it was a little too hot, so I'm gonna go to quarter power. Really, this is mostly the settings you have most of the time, so you're just kind of controlling flash power. There we go. That looks pretty good. And it's auto focusing for me. So I, I can also verify that. But before I do, I'm, I'm noticing the screen's a little dark, so I'm gonna up the brightness. Won't go too crazy with it, but just wanna show you what it looks like. It's a little bright, but you can definitely see yourself better. For the most part, I think it gets rid of that light. Uh, you, you only see it if you're dealing with people with glasses. Um, and I'll get in close here just to show you. And, I'll, and basically that's how I'll run through the lighting. I'll just keep doing test shots. I'll see what it looks like from back here. pretty good everything's nothing's blown out I'll do a test shot here because this is probably as close as people are gonna get and that looks pretty good so I'm close and I still see detail it's not crazy blown out so it looks like the lighting is is pretty even from from all the way in the back to all the way in the front and the, a big part of that is because the distance it's five feet you don't have a huge amount of distance to cover um, so that's looking pretty good. All right, if the uh, weather is okay, if you're indoors or it's not windy outside, definitely want to prefer the, the, the uh, umbrella. So make sure to use that as like our first option. Um, and then this can be the second option. So I'm gonna set this up, show you how that works. Um, you can just hold on to this. Uh, so it doesn't get dirty. So I'll just disconnect these for now. Um, and then let's take off the beauty dish. Set that 
set aside. And this part, if I just loosen it, turn it around. Um, kind of want it at a 45 degree facing back. This is the little reflector that attaches. Again, sometimes it's easier to do this before you put it on. Get this going. Just sliding it through this hole. Show you what that looks like. Basically, it's being uh, put through this piece into here, and then this tightens the uh, the umbrella uh, to to the base. Um, and then this, I don't I don't let it stick out too far. Um, that's how I connect that. From there, then I'll. I'll plug in my sink cable. Oh, clearly I didn't, I didn't tighten this enough. If it's that loose, then you know, want to go back in and make sure this this thing is tight. Um, yeah, that's how it should look. Um, in most cases, shoot through umbrellas are supposed to, you know, be the other way where the umbrella is pointing at the subject. Uh, but in this case, it, what the light does is it, it just kind of floods it and pushes it back and it creates a nice even light. Um, and this is the best way to set it up. The other, 